So this week I get to be the minstrel minister. And what I want to share with you is the fact that in every moment of every day, you are held with love in light. Every moment of every day, you are held with love in light. You are never, ever alone. You don't have to go through life on your own, cause every moment of every day, you are held with light in love. and. Every moment in every way you are held with love The kind that sustains you when push comes to shove Every moment of every day you are held with love in light Every moment of every day you are held with love in light And that's all right It's all right because it's all accurate well who is it that's holding you with the love and the light what do i mean when i say you're never alone you're never alone because you're not this separate entity even though you have the illusion that all people are separate the fact is we're all energy we're all the same energy as every other person as the trees as the flowers as the planet itself and we're just all different parts of it. Think of it this way. Have you ever seen a banyan tree? Well, that there could be a hundred trees and they all look to be, on the surface, individual and separate trees. But if you could somehow go and look at their root system, if you can make the dirt become invisible, see through, you would see it's the same root system. They're all the same tree growing with the same energy, only appearing above ground to be all separate and individual. Not only that, but there are entities, otherworldly energies, we're energies in this lifetime and we're energies when we transition to another world and there are some energies that never have been in bodies. Think angels. Have you ever seen one of these cameras that can photograph your aura, the energy bodies, fields around you? Well, I have a special picture from one of the times when I had a picture done in my aura. And sitting right up there on my shoulder are three angels. How do we know they're angels? Because their energy, their color is distinctly different, and their shapes are different, and there are three clearly distinct, identical, similar, similar, not quite identical shapes, totally different from the colors of my auric field. Whenever you need something, you call your angels in there, they're to help you. You can ask for help from those who you love, who have transitioned to the other side. And if you allow yourself to feel it, they will come, they will be there for you. I know people who can see their relatives when they need to see them and they can talk to them. Whatever it is, it's a matter of recognizing you're a multi-sensory being. Allow yourself to go beyond those five senses. Experience the 99% of reality so then you'll know beyond a shadow of a doubt you're never alone. When you need something you ask for it and it's always there as long as you know how to ask. And we've talked before about a prayer isn't something you ask for. A prayer is a speaking of gratitude for what you have. And when you can see everything in your life, and you probably notice my singing voice is still a little like this. But you know what? I am so grateful that I can sing at all. That when I have a message to share, I'm going to share it. And if I don't sound good enough to make a record right now, you know what? That's okay. Because I can still share my message in the way that's important to me to share it. You're never alone. There's always somebody there with you. They might only be there in energy. But you know what? You can learn to ask, to feel the love, to feel the support, to ask somebody to show that they're there. And something in your house might fall over. Or I have these paper sculptures that I made, and one of them keeps falling off of where I've placed it, even though 
I know I placed it very securely. It's not near the edge and there's no reason for it to show off. I sometimes ask that somebody come to visit me and let me know they're here. That's what's happening. So just remember, it's true in every moment of every day. You are held with love in light. Because love is the highest vibration there is. It is the vibration of source, the universe, God, whatever term you're comfortable with. And please go down below or also up there and click share and let other people know that we're here because we're not about religion, but we are totally about spirituality. I wish you a wonderful week recognizing the love that's around you all the time and the light of the universe that's holding you with that love. Blessings. <laughs>